Ahoy there guys, and look at this jet bridge going through the aircraft, looking right down the tunnel, very realistic. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to fly online on VATSIM. Uh, this assumes, first of all, that you've signed up for VATSIM, have an account, and uh, if you want to see the other airplanes, look at the link in my description for this video to show you how to get the best models and all that shit. So we're here. Just sitting in the 757, haven't loaded anything in the FMC yet, uh, just running with the APU, and I'm going to use these programs in the description to get us going here. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and, well, let's turn off the mode C, we don't want to show up, that's the transponder that makes you show up on the air traffic control screens, and we don't want to do that until we're taxiing around. So we'll turn that guy off. And we'll go ahead and hit connect in vPilot. This is the program vPilot here. So Delta 731 is what I'm going to be. And just put the aircraft type. And we see that there's some air traffic control on. Cool. That's why we picked here. And the tool we used to come to the conclusion that we should fly out of Midway is vRoot. vRoot, very cool. Uh, it'll show you who's online, air traffic control, and pilot-wise across the country. Now, keep in mind, these are people just doing shit for fun, and they could sign off any minute. So, sometimes by the time you load up, they're gone. But as of right now, we have Midway Clearance Delivery, Chicago Approach, Chicago Center, Minneapolis Approach, Minneapolis Center. So, we're going to do Chicago Midway to Minneapolis in this uh, snazzy Delta 75. And you can see if you click on Chicago, it'll show everyone. We're not in there yet because we haven't filed a flight. Oh, there we are. See, it doesn't say... Uh, to me, it doesn't say where we're going yet. So keep in mind, these controllers, they handle whatever their title is and everything below it. So center can do everything for you. The guy who's clearance delivery, he's just starting out. That's all he's allowed to do. The person who's doing approach, they'll do tower since clearance delivery can't do tower. So it kind of makes sense. So uh, you definitely, anytime there's a center on board, they can take care of your whole flight. But just keep in mind, someone who's ground isn't going to be able to do tower. Tower can't do approach and so on. So we've decided what we want to do. So let's go ahead and right here, sim brief we have. And uh, I'm going to get a route from sim brief. I'm going to say we're going to fly from Midway to Minneapolis. Okie doke. So anyway, um, this is the last thing I did with sim, br uh, sim brief, the last flight. So I'm going to go ahead and do uh, Midway to Minneapolis. Pick the aircraft. It's a 757-200. Okay, cool. Oh, my monitor flashed for a second. Not sure if you guys saw that. And my cycle's outdated. You have to pay if you want to keep these nav databases up to date. So I paid the few dollars once just to get a semi-recent, just to get what the recent charts at the time, like two months ago, and then just canceled my subscription. So these are all routes it recommends for us. You can see how many, f you know, because obviously you're not flying in a straight line. It tells you how many, uh, what percentage of the route is just extra space compared to what it would be if you were just doing the non-stops. This is 14.6% longer than flying straight towards Minneapolis, 30, 30%, 8%. Okay, that's not bad. So I'm going to request this route. Now let's see what arrival runway we can expect in Minneapolis. To do that, I've got Active Sky here. Conditions. Okay, MSP. And I know there's thunderstorms between Minneapolis and Chicago right now, which is going to be pretty cool. So right now the winds in Minneapolis, 190 at 7. So runway 17 seems feasible for... Uh, where we'd be landing and that's cool alrighty so I'm gonna go ahead and analyze this route okay cool and it draws it out for us this would be our route of flight with the alternate of Des Moines which no way in hell we'd actually go there oh, shut up phone uh, so we generate the flight plan now it'll give you like a release like a real airline pilot would have that will give you all the useless information that we don't need for this virtual fucking recreation of a flight. Uh, but you can check it out if you want. That's at the bottom with all this. This is the paperwork that they print out of those big zebra printers at the gate with all that fancy stuff. And see SimBrief Downloader says your latest SimBrief flight plan has been downloaded. So we told it we want 
we told it the route we want to do. It suggests the fuel we take, the altitude, how long it's going to take, yada, 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 all that crap. So now if I go to Sim Brief Downloader, we're in the Captain Sim, right? So prepared version 4, download. Cool. So it just downloaded the plan we just made, it, midway to Minneapolis, the plan we just made, uh, right to my Sim. So now, go inside the aircraft, and I'll take a quick look, see, look at air traffic. Where's that A319 I saw nearby? Interesting. See, people who have all sorts of weird shit here, but this is that guy in his A319 that we saw when we started the video. So we'll switch back. Now, before we call clearance delivery, which would be the first step in our journey, I'm going to go ahead and find our route. So go to request. And most of the nice payware planes will let you do this. Okay, request. Flight sim, flight planes. Yeah. And then you just want to scroll through. And it is KMDW to KMSP. I need to delete a lot of these. Alrighty. So activate, execute, check the legs. All right, so something to be conscious of here. Let's see what the last, so let's see, the last waypoint is nickel. All right, well, let's see if that's actually the end of the route because what's our arrival? Oh, direct nickel, direct. So it didn't actually give us a star, did it? Because is that nickel? That's nickel, and then it just kind of has us coming in. Uh, okay, that's interesting. So now using FlightAware, I'm gonna look up real flights that have done this right now. Okay, MDW, you jackass. Track. And if you want, you could just use the flights these real planes took. Is there any 75s on the route today? No. Well, I'm just gonna see what the Southwest did. So see the route he took, and he did this route here he did this arrival so yeah they're definitely going to want us to have a star you see look at that they're always going to want you to have like a standardized arrival plan otherwise they'll just throw you one and you're going to have to go and figure it out and plot all the waypoints to fly that so uh, since it didn't give us that i'm going to go back and edit flight maybe i'll pick that other route that's a little longer because at least that had a, a star all right cool there we go you see that little hook there and now we'll generate that yes overwrite and then we'll just uh save this because you got to be careful because sometimes sim brief it won't give you a star on the route you pick and then you'll realize that um the controllers will just be like what the hell are you doing if you just kind of going straight at the airport okay cool so the killer three so see it's updated so now i'll pull up sim brief downloader yet again download again Yes. Cool. So hopefully it overwrote it because that's the same name as the other one. So we'll we'll go ahead, we'll reload here. So root request flight sim Midway Minneapolis. Execute. Legs. Cool. Yep, now we got okay, so now, the next step, before we call clearance delivery, let's make sure that this road is complete and let's get our charts. So, very simple. Click on that, click on that. This is why we look up the flight. Look at the storms en route. This is gonna be cool. I wanna get going. Uh, we go to map and diagram. Map and diagram. So this will give us the airport chart for our taxi. Then we go to IFR plates. So there we go. So now we have our airport maps up. We're over here on the Charlie Concourse. So we see departing direct pumpkin. Is that even a departure? So we see here at the Midway Airport, these are the plates they have. And I, I guess these are the two departures. Let's see if one of them seems relevant. No, I don't see our our waypoint here. Let's see what's the. Let's check uh, another handy thing here. 
Let's check the midway ATIS. What's it doing? Visual runway four right, four left, and you sign departed runway four. So we want to do a departure off runway four. Does this have departures off runway four? It would appear so. So I guess I'm going to add this in. I'm going to tell the VATSIM controller that we'll do the 0 2 departure because we're going to have to use our thinking caps a little bit. Uh, let me see here. The midway 5, what's that one? Same thing basically. Take off runway 4 and just turn right heading 100 up to 2400 feet. Take off runways 4 left, 4 right. Ascend runway heading. Side hangs 360 through 080, climbing right turn. Okay, cool. So I guess I'll ask for the midway 5 departure. And then coming into Minneapolis, let me go back for a second. We wanted to do the, uh, what was the arrival into Minneapolis? Let's see here, star. So it's uh, RNAV approach, autopilot RNAV approach into Minneapolis. Okie dokie. And let's see, where do we pick this up? Ronic direct camera. So we're going to go camera. So we're going to come in here and this will be the arrival that we follow which continues down here and uh, there's Minneapolis okay landing runway 17 all right cool so now that we have our route we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna follow flight plan oh god I hate it. it scares me when it does that we're gonna follow flight plan here in V-Pilot from Midway to Minneapolis get going I'm just gonna say Rochester I don't care see it says right here the current Zulu time so 0330 because we trying to jet it said 1 hour 18 I'm just gonna put that in 3 hours I don't fucking know uh, what cruise altitude did it suggest for us wants us up to 360 right okay so through ah So 36,000 feet. We're not a heavy aircraft. And then here's the route it wanted us to take. I like how it keeps adding the direct, direct. I mean, direct's kind of implied unless you're flying a... All right, so... Uh, so I'm guessing Midway 5. They'll know what that is. I don't know if that's even correct. So here in the... So basically, I just took the route it gave us, but I added the star that we're planning on flying out of here. So in the remarks, I usually put my call sign, then what scenery I have, so they know what I'm working with. Because remember, some people have default scenery, and everything is going to be different. You'll be in different places. So fly Tampa MDW slash slash flight beam... MSP, and then I always add charts to let them know that, hey, I have the charts. If uh, if I need to, I could look up charts from FlightAware. And then voice, send, and receive, because you can type in text in here if you want to air traffic control. File, flight plan. Alrighty. So now that we've done that, uh, I don't want to actually listen to the ATIS because it's annoying. So, I mean, all you do is tune in the frequency, obviously, but let's see. Midway ATIS, you have information, Charlie. We see all that. Okay, cool. And let me make sure, is my transponder on right now? It is in there. Let me put it in standby mode. Alrighty, cool. So now we'll get our clearance to Minneapolis and uh, start going here. Uh, one second, sorry. Pull that up. And uh, when you open up vPilot for the first time, I'll tell you before we get into this, set up push to talk. I have a button on the joystick I'm using right now uh, to make sure that, and uh, you have to calibrate your microphone to make sure you can talk to them. And now let's see, where is Midway Deliveries 12462? So go down to the radio. 12462. And keep in mind, I have trouble using COM2. 
uh, sometimes, so I just stick to COM1. Okay, when you hear that noise, that means we're on a frequency that there's a controller up on, so let's go ahead and give them a call. Pull this up so we can have notes for our clearance. Midway clearance, ahoy there. Delta 731's ready to copy to Minneapolis with Charlie. Delta 731, reviewing your flight plan now. Oh, good. Probably going to be changes. We'll see. That was a weird route, to be honest. I mean, usually it's just a sit and a star. It wouldn't just say direct this, direct that. But we'll see what they end up doing for us. Obviously, in the sim, there's not nearly as many planes flying around as real life, so you get direct places all the time. We'll switch outside. Let you guys see this pretty airplane. I hear a propeller. Is there someone out there? Midway clearance, good evening. Legacy 122 Lima Lima, at the East Ramp. Person at the East yeah, West Ramp, prepared by far to O'Hare with Charlie. Someone's just flying to Chicago O'Hare. We got the bridge connected, the chalk's on, the door open. Midway clearance delivery getting overloaded. Look at this. Usually this is pretty quick. They must be really editing my plan. I just want to get to Minneapolis before these people go to bed because it's past. Legacy 122, talking with controller. Give me a second. Okay, looks like he's coordinating with Chicago Approach probably for our departure since I sent him a wonky ass flight plan, but that's okay. And remember, guys, I mean, if you want, you could just uh, do sim brief, uh, like take a lot more time and, and detail than I'm doing everything uh, when you go into sim brief or looking up things on FlightAware. Like, you could look up FlightAware first to decide what kind of plane you want to fly and look up a real flight that happened and fly its exact route. All sorts of possibilities and room for activities. All right, let's go back in here and just get ready for him. Let's put this all the way up to 250. Legacy 122, clear to O'Hare. Damn it, Direct he's getting his contact. before me. Chicago approach on 119. I'll double check that departure, zero. but I think it was, uh, the, they want me to turn 360. Roger, clear to O'Hare Airport to be at um, anyone wants to contact, uh, approach now? Let's put that on. Correct. Roger. Smoke them up. Put your damn seatbelts on. Come on. Let's set this, and I'm not using a checklist today, as you'll see. Well, while we're waiting for him to do this, Something you can do that most payware airplanes have options set up. We're going to set our fuel and payload. So, payload, we'll say we're 72 Squawk 303103. Slash, see it's fuel and then slash, right? So, if I want to do payload, let's see here. So now 75% full will be our payload. So that's how the passengers, bags, all that crap. And for the fuel, let's see what it recommended. And I wonder if this guy's ever going to call. Fuel. Oh, it's in kilograms. That's right. I don't have time for all that rest of the world bullshit. This is America. We're going to do 50% fuel. And there should be more than enough gas to get us where we're going without being super overweight. So now we have our gross weight there and our cruise CG. 30.1208 and our cruising altitude was 360 36,000 
Here we go. Delta 731, clear to Minneapolis, San Port via Midway 5 departure, climb via SIG, top altitude 3000, expect flight level 3610 zero, zero minutes after departure. Contact approach on 119.0, squawk 3104. Okay, clear to Minneapolis is filed via the Midway 5 departure. Climb via the SID to top altitude of 3,000. Expect 360 10 minutes after takeoff. Departure on 119.0, squawk 3104, Delta 731. That's why you write it down. It's a lot. Correct. Have a good night. Adios. That must be boring when you're first starting out and all you can do is clearance delivery. I was going to do Minneapolis to Midway. I specifically tried to be nice and do this just to give this guy something to do. See, someone who doesn't have a mic is uh, calling clearance delivery on there. All right, so up to 3,000 initially. And remember, we will call approach directly for pushback because clearance delivery can only do clearance delivery. So we'll climb maintain 3,000. Uh, let me check how this departure looks again. That's not it. Good evening, Southwest. Reviewing your... So departing runway 4, assigned right headings 360. Okay, so we'll turn to that. Through 080, climbing right turn to 2400. So climb via the SID up to top altitude 3,000. If he wants me to go to 3,000. Okay. Whatever, because that's basically where the sit ends, and then from there we're going to direct our waypoint, right? We'll see what departure wants to do. I'm a little confused by that. Anyway, so here's our Minneapolis chart. I'll just get that nice and zoomed in. And one thing I'll do before we push, because this will be a pain in the ass in the air, let's see, we come in here, and then uh, to runway 17, track to cause, and expect radar vectors to file approach. So cause should be our last... Waypoint, let's see what it gave us. It is. Okay, cool. Alrighty, so now we'll go ahead and we will switch to approach on 119.0. cool beans and then now I'll call for the jet bridge to disconnect and let me see two William Lima Lima radar contact passing 900 the door and go to the wheelchair and when able uh, state parking request that over here Azure uh, 360 heading for parking GA to Lima Okay, let me see you leave Malima. Uh two in the left turn heading three six zero, but continue to right turn heading uh three six zero. Look at this, there's a pushback and, uh, function maintain here. four thousand. See action. Sure, maintain four thousand now, let me see two in Malima. Chicago approach, ahoy there. Delta seven three one's ready for push at midway, uh, gate Charlie one. Delta 731, ahoy, Chicago uh, approach. Uh, Squawk 3104, push start your discretion. Expect four hours. Squawk 3104, push start our discretion. We'll call you for taxi, Delta 731. That's right. I always forget the busy airports, they want you to take care of the taxi. American Squawk 3104, When you're at a smaller airport, land. they don't want you to do it until you're clear for takeoff. But um, at these big airports, they want you to have the squawk on. Yeah, let me see you leave a fly heading 330. Alrighty. Heading 330. Let's see. Let's see. Sometimes when you turn it on TARA, it'll translate. Sometimes it won't. It didn't. So if it doesn't, you have to manually click the mode C here. Chicago uh, approach. This is you again. So high this. And we'll request pushback. And uh, I'm going uh, to get your call sign. Say that again. Four, swing left. Your ring, one nine zero zero three. Uh, echo, whiskey. Uh, All right. So well, we push. Close. Let's go one ahead and start zero. the engines with no checklists. Yeah, your wings one nine zero zero three. I got the call sign. Somebody just stepped on the other landline. 
Uh, push and start and, to your discretion. Uh, Expect okay. runway one zero left at Delta Delta. If you cannot accept the and interception, I do let think, me know. Are the fuel levers already up? Oh, they are already up. Uh, um, so I'll turn that one off so I can turn around and be a little more realistic. Oh, yeah, duh. AP Legacy 2 uh, Lima Lima uh, Airport, 12 o'clock, 8 miles, Fort Field site. And so, Legacy 2 Lima Lima. So, here we go. Okay, Legacy 2 Lima Lima. You can see that uh, southwest. Over the Fort Field, the left down lane, or right runway. Niner right. the Fly Tampa scenery. I like it a lot. I think it's cool. I've been to Midway. Pressure out. We'll fly overhead the field and then our left down for Niner right. Legacy 2A Lima. Alright. Legacy 2A Lima. 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 And we uh, Wow, this is pretty, uh, it's gonna, well, it's not actually, I was gonna say it's gonna get us by the line, but that would be a filthy fucking lie. I'm gonna turn the parking brake on, even though we're still pushing, just so we don't start rolling when they do push us. So we'll stop here. Thanks for the help, you jackass. We're not where we're meant to be. Where's the other engine starting up? Okie dokie. So we're going to go ahead. Let me flip to the takeoff page here. I'm going to say flaps 15. Get our speeds. And we'll go ahead and set them. See here. To three notches. We'll be down to 15. Uh, on the paper, I cannot on. accept. Um, I don't want to be left. That's on paper, you can't accept uh, it, really. If Company you want regulations, me to try it, I can to try it, but I cannot accept it officially. Uh, so uh, anyway, while that guy's rambling about his shit, I'm zero wings, one nine zero three. You can check one zero left. And I'm assuming that we'll probably get uh, just Yankee all the way, but we'll see what he tells us. The Chicago approach, Delta seven three one is ready for taxi. Delta, 731, Chicago approach, runway 4 right, taxi at Yankee, hold short, 1-3 right. Hold short, 1-3 right, we'll taxi runway 4 right via Yankee, Delta 731. Okay, so that's a pretty simple instruction, so I'll pull it up here so you guys can see it, but well, we're not going to go veering off anywhere. So Yankee, and he said hold short a runway 3-1 uh, right, did he say 1-3 right? It can't be one through it. Oh no! Don't don't lag on us! Don't lag on us! No 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 no! We don't want none of that! We don't want none of that! Oh my! Oh, it's not lagging. We just ran out of momentum. I didn't realize that. All right. Well, anyway, let's. Uh, Legacy two Lima Lima runway nine right on. wind one one zero five clear land. Crap on. We'll turn off that and turn the APU off. And when in doubt, ask him, hey, what the fuck? Uh, last call on your craft. We can all read. Say again. American 1246, vacated left off number 3. American 1246, Texas parking, uh, L15. Enter the ramp for your discretion. See, so if you get the FLAI package in my description from Boston Virtual, it'll give you FAIB and uh, all the good models like that, and you'll see good, realistic-looking AI planes. Approach for Delta 731, I'm sorry, was that short of 1-3 right or 3-1 right? Uh, well, Delta 731 is the same run, so, or actually, it's not, I guess. Yeah, uh, it's not. Uh, 3-1 right. Okay, hold short three one right delta seven three one. <laughs> and uh, delta oh, seven three one, uh, continue taxi and cross runway uh, three one right uh, by Yankee. Cross three one center and three one left. Cross three one right, three one center, three one left on Yankee delta seven three one. Okie dokie.
in real life you turn on your strobes crossing a runway. I'm not going to bother to do that. <laughs> so the FCC will tell you what um, we'll trim you want to take off, right right but what I'm going to do is it just has to be in this green area. Here, so I'll trim a little bit. Now we're with the well, green I can see two Lima Lima exit left, one able to take the GA park in your discretion. Roger, two Lima Lima. So here we go, taxiing out. Sure, we know what to our departure for one, one is going to be coming yeah. out of here. We're going to do that right turn off from way forward. Three ninety six, Chicago Bridge. Uh, let me go ahead and load for right in here. Or hail Demeter three zero zero seven. Speed to your discretion. Expect visual approach from way nine or right. One center, which isn't right. All right, nine right, Demeter ten thousand. My speed, Delta three ninety six. Runway. Runway. Do have to do zero four, right? Let's see. American 168, runway 9 right, wind 1105 on departure. Squadron runway heading, clear for takeoff. Runway, execute. Squadron runway heading, clear for takeoff. So let's just zoom out and check out our route. Delta 731, runway 4 right, wind 1305 on departure, fly runway heading, clear for takeoff. Runway heading, runway 4 right, clear for takeoff, Delta 731. Okay. Yeah, real quick, you were in one hundred years. Yeah, I just did the math and I can accept uh one to the so left we'll from Chad Johnny or Bravo Bravo, but I still cannot accept uh Delta uh, if you wanna uh, proceed. Turning on to runway four right. Euro wings one nine or zero three. I uh, use expect runway one zero left at Delta Delta. Or correction, expect one zero left full length. American 168 contact passing 1,500, climb maintain 15,000, fly heading 360. And after 5,000, right to 360, and then continue climb to 15,000, American 168. Alright, I'm rotate. And American 168, that's uh, 360 heading now, climb maintain 15,000. Gear up. 360 right now and then continue climb to 15,000 or 168. Climbing out. Uh, so run the left one for you and someone. Yeah, your wings 1 What was that last transition that was uh, scrambled? Yeah, I can I can accept from Chan Chan and the uh, Bravo, bravo, but I cannot accept. Uh, from Delta Delta. See, that's what I need to see. We can get in the high stage. Uh, this is available. Uh, this is so this is crap down here. Charlie, one zero left. I cannot. I can't accept. Right, so, three thousand is the altitude. Zero. We're just on. Euro wind one nine zero zero three heavy. Expect runway one zero left full length. That is one zero left at Alpha Alpha. God, this guy is a pain in the ass. Perfect. Alpha Alpha, uh, and I will call you back. Uh, Delta 731, fly heading 360, climb maintain 15,000. Right 360, climb maintain 15,000, Delta 731. Delta 731, fly heading 360, left turn heading 360. A fly heading 360, left turn 360, and we'll climb and maintain 15,000, Delta 731. Yeah, I thought I heard right heading, it was fly heading. A American 168 procedure at PQ. Uh, say again, 168, you better go on this. American 168, fly heading 270, procedure at PQ. 270, direct PQ, American 168. Delta 396, just gonna maintain 6,000. Oh, that was a little aggressive. 6,000, 396.
now I'll just turn on the autopilot. Be a lazy fuck. Delta 731 procedure at the a direct what? Sorry for Delta 731? Delta 731, direct Dylan, Delta, Lima, Lima, Alpha, November. Direct Dylan, Delta 731. Alright. So click on Dylan. Fuck. Damn it. No. See, look, I'm trying to click on Dylan. Ah, uh, did I get Bobby? Should have started our turn already, Dylan. There. Execute. Now we turn it on LNAV. And that should follow a path that we've just drawn here to Dylan. And Delta 396, fly heading 180, descend to maintain 4000. 180, 4000, Delta 396. I'll do vertical or flight level change to keep this 250 knots. Going up to 15,000. See, because I can't feel the plane with my ass. I didn't realize it stopped to climb in there. So there's O'Hare off to the left with the famous Lake O'Hare. Good times. So we got the flaps all the way up. And Milwaukee's up ahead, and we're just climbing up the coast. Approach Legacy 122 Lima Lima request IFR to Air Force practice approaches. Legacy 122, Chicago approach now, or Chicago approach is closing contact with Lima 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 Okay, so we switched to Chicago Center. Oh, I'm one, two, two, uh, um, one, two, legacy, one, two, off. two. Contact Chicago Post, one, one, nine, point yeah, zero, zero. go faster. Uh, you just send us over to you. Okay, Chicago Center, ahoy there. Delta seven three one's climbing through eleven thousand seven hundred for one five thousand. Delta seven thirty one, Chicago Center, climbing. Can you follow a three six zero and resume normal speed? Okay, we'll fly heading three six zero and uh, resume normal speed. Delta seven three one. Delta seven thirty one, Charlie heading three. Delta seven thirty one, Charlie heading three two zero. Whenever, whenever, correct. Arriving at ours. Okay, we'll turn left to like 330 direct Robbie Delta 731. Okay, direct Robbie. Chicago Center, American 168 is coming out of 14,650. Back in LNAV and direct Robbie. American 163, Chicago Center, climbing to the audio quality. 360 resume normal speed. 360 resume normal speed, American 168. And uh, American 
Who's many up in the center? Uh, six heavy, she died with the next PD sequence. It's getting ready with the next frequency. I don't know what the fuck we're doing. He still hasn't climbed us. I mean, I get in real life, this is a really busy terminal area, but there's nothing around, so I don't know why we don't just climb. Well, there are only one zero left, Turkey Security. Yeah, let me turn the weather radar. Southwest 45, she's telling you in the lane zero when we fall right cliff data. Southwest 45, she's telling you in the lane zero when we fall right cliff data. Up to 731, I mean, you have to do a climb between 5 and 340. Up to 340 now, yeah, down to 731. Listen up, you fucking idiots. They don't even listen. Like if you want to do it, we're going to contact climbing from the 3000 Seattle to with you. The airplane will not go to the 2500 Rift River. Like if you want to do it, we're going to do it. Like if you want to do it, we're going to do it. Like if you want to do it, we're going to do it. Like if you want to do it, we're going to do it. Like if you want to do it, we're going to do it. Like if you want to do it, we're going to do it. Like if you want to do it, we're going to do it. Like if you want to do it, we're going to do it. Like if you want to do it, we're going to do it. Like if you want to do it, we're going to do it. Like if you want to do it, we're going to do it. Like if you want to do it, we're going to do it. Like if you want to do it, we're going to do it. Like if you want to do it, we're going to do it. Like if you want to do it, we're going to do it. Like if you want to do it, we're going to do it. Like if you want to do it, we're going to do it. Like if you Two two zero zero two zero. Ah. America one six eight climbing three four three six zero. Three six zero. America one six eight. We have to go a little slower, maybe during the climb. This road is under turn sixty. Is uh, ready for push start? Uh, stand my gate. Truck heavy. Engine starting for spec of power suspension. High stage bullshit. Wow, it's cool. Exciting stuff. So as you see here, we got a ways to go to Minneapolis. So Robbie, okay. I should have just gone faster. Slowing down didn't help the engine at all. We just pitched a. Uh, it was pitched a little differently to get to the right. Legacy one two two turn right ten degrees. Turn right ten degrees. Legacy two one one. So while we're doing this, I'm gonna check our arrival, and we don't need the midway diagram anymore, and we don't need the midway five departure anymore. So Cam, uh, so we're going direct Robbie, right? So. Robbie itself, we're supposed to cross at 10,000 feet. Is that right? Because this says it's across CMAC at 14,028. Hold on here. Let's see what it says. No, because like flight level 2905, I, I confused myself for a while, I'm still in the instrument state, but yeah, so 290240, whatever, so he'll descend us, so we'll just keep on flying along, no speed restrictions for a little bit there, and uh, if you went ahead and set it all up, you could actually, if you go into your legs, you see you could enter a speed here, so like 222, Five thousand, and if I put that in, and I set up the V nav, which is a lateral nav, is that we have on now is just you know left and right lateral. Vertical nav, you can control speed and altitude too. So it would actually try to maneuver the aircraft across that fix at the speed and altitude that we displayed or that we uh, requested. Delta 731, contact me after turn out 133.4. 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 Delta 731, contact me after
Going to 133.4, Delta 731. Good day. Okay, so we switched to Minneapolis. Minneapolis Center, ahoy there. Delta 731, flight level 340. Oh, Minneapolis Center, Roger, good evening. Uh, you said ahoy, Ron. So we're just cruising along here. That's a cool looking cloud. Let's take a look out. Delta 731, this is the um, area of uh, extreme precipitation between you and the field. Um, a lot of severe thunderstorms with uh, kind of heading east southeast. Um, not sure if you're going to be able to uh, direct to the field from here if you want to do that. Uh, that'd probably be best. Uh, clear direct in Minneapolis Airport. If you need deviations for build up at any stage, just advise. But uh, there's going to be areas of. Uh, Building uh, precipitation uh, basically between uh, you and the field uh, all the way down at this stage. Exciting stuff. All right, we'll head to uh, direct Minneapolis for now and we'll let you know what we need Delta 731. Descend at pilot's discretion, maintain a 100,000 Minneapolis altimeter, 200, 200, 200. Okay, we'll descend at pilot's discretion down to uh, 100,000 Delta 731. Alrighty, so. Let me do this. Let me get rid of our waypoints. Let me show them. Let's see. Airports. I think that's uh, Minneapolis, right? That we're direct. I mean, there's other ways we could do that, but I, it's just the way I chose to go direct Minneapolis. We could just get like an actual bearing from the FMC, but I didn't feel like doing that. Let's look outside here. Minneapolis Center, good evening, Delta 451, uh, 42 and a half nautical miles, Minosa. Delta 451, Minneapolis Center, out here, uh, clear direction, Minneapolis Airport. Wow, cool stuff. And I'm not too worried, let's see here. Oh, bumping us around a little bit. Get back to your seats, cover my ass so the Union's not all That's right. Delta 451, Minneapolis, Roger, clear direct to Minneapolis Airport. Clear direct to Minneapolis Airport. So let me check, uh, just to get a rough outline of what I should fucking do here, playing my descent. So, killer at 12,000, where does it want you at 10? So Huggy is where it wants you at 10, right? Well, where the fuck is Huggy? Huggy's about 80 miles out. All right, fine. We can do that. Let's do sort of 10,000. And vertical speed mode. Let's just do like 500 feet per minute if we need to steepen the approach. We're 300 feet per minute. I don't really care because we got a ways to go. We're like 80 miles out. Well, uh, Minneapolis Center, uh, Delta Force 1, quick question. Delta Force 1, you want to go? Uh, are we going to be set up for the visual on the 1-2s? Uh, Delta Force 1, uh, not sure if they're running visuals or ILS right now. So, uh, I'm going to do 11,000, because, you know, uh, under, under, when you're flying online, the field of the state. um, be advised of that. Sure uh, there's that advertising ILS right now. Let's check the so, uh, so heads up on that. But uh, yeah, you can make a request for something different if you like it with the first control when you get so down there. Because of that, I want to haul ass to send to 11,000 um, and bleed off my yeah, speed so down to 350 and then I'll step down to 11,000 so we can be safe from there. Because I'm assuming we'll be able to get to 10,000. Usually this time of night, after 10.30 p.m. local, we go direct the field with arrivals. It's a typical real world nighttime procedure. Slow a little bit just so we don't over speed. 
already. And like he just said, when you're when it's late night, which it is. I mean, it's daytime. I chose to fly in the daytime so we can see everything, but it's nighttime, really. It's about 11 something p.m. over there in Minneapolis. Good times. get away with the descent rate and still keep the aircraft around the speed. We have a little bit of wiggle room here. Now let's see, who's the next controller? Oh, Minneapolis Tower and Ground are up. That's cool. They weren't before. See, sometimes you get screwed and everyone quits. Sometimes you get to the airport and you have unexpected ATC. So, the Minneapolis Center, uh, Delta Sport Fishing Home, we do have some turbulence in the area. Is there any way we can get lower and we can probably start uh, initial descent? So, approach 1247. Delta Sport Fishing Home, being classified the turbulence, it'll be great to descend that pilot's discretion, maintain a 10,000, Minneapolis altimeter, Q9er, 9er, 9er. I'm sorry, uh, one more time for uh, 451, you cut off. That's 4200, if you can classify the turbulence, that would be appreciated so I can pass that along to future arrival traffic and uh, send that pilot to the I like how seriously they take all this weather shit. I guess we're simulating it. Better, better. I really don't care about that. It looks like we made it through the worst I of it. I just sent a pass description. That was exciting stuff. Uh, at, I saw some pretty clouds, some pretty shapes. I saw one that looked like a piece of broccoli. I saw another that looked like Elvis Presley. Having Johnny Paul. Winnipeg Center is closed. Frequency change of crew, so it's like it. Frequency change of crew, thanks for the ATC. Have a good night. I'm going to switch to flight level change and watch what this bitch does. So you guys saw vertical speed, nice and gentle, right? Now, flight level. And we'll see, sometimes. We'll see how this aircraft can keep this. Uh, yeah. Look at this. We're pegging this shit. Nice, 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 nice. I was playing almost three two zero. And we are not expected to have any longer Okay, so we're gonna have Minneapolis approach, <laughs> and then we we'll switch to Minneapolis Tower. And uh, let me let them know that we have information, whatever, in Minneapolis. Let's go to Minneapolis. Minneapolis 8 is. And the only reason I'm not listening to it, just so you guys know, is like, the COM 2 and the Captain Sim 75 doesn't work for me with the, when I fly online with VATSIM, I won't actually be able to hear it. So I basically just have one radio, even though, as you can see here, you're supposed to have two comms, but it doesn't seem to work like that for me, at least in this plane. Uh, da, 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 da. You have information Lima. And it looks like we can expect the one twos. And if we can expect the one twos, I'm gonna request one two left and they'll probably give it to us because they usually give you what you ask for. So we're planning on one two left and I'm gonna put some speed brakes out. Look at the difference that that made just sliding a little speed brakes in. Because we're starting to get towards the overspeed there. And wow, look at us. Look at us go. <laughs> this is cool. Speed breaks up. And out of the sky dives this Delta 75. I mean, obviously, in real life, you do it a little smoother than this, but I only care about being at the right altitude when we get to the right place. So sometimes the auto throttle sucks with this shit, like I was alluding to. So I'm gonna. Throttle back, and then we should be fine, see? But now I'm going to put it back in vertical 
Yeah, we don't want 7,000. We'll do like 2,000 feet per minute. How does that sound? And that'll be fine. We have like 20 some miles to Huggy anyway, which is where we want to be at 10,000. So we'll start to level out now. I'm going to stow the spoilers. In fact, we can... We can arm them. There we go. So now our spoilers are armed for landing because I don't anticipate needing them again. If we do, I'll just rearm them. Alright, so now... Let's plan for our arrival, right, homies? So... Arrivals into Minneapolis. Now we're going to do the ILS right. One, two, right. And let me find what our transition is going to be. Because we know what our arrival is, right? So arrivals for one, two, right. From Crisp. Where's Crisp? Okay, from Crisp. On track 269. Only 200 off for my favorite number. To cross Afton at or above 10,000 feet. You got it, homie. Delta 731, contact uh, Minneapolis to Purge Control, 124.7, United. Going to 124.7, Delta 731, toodaloo. Alright, so we'll switch over here. And since we're not in a rush, 126.7 for tower will be next. 6.7, and I believe it was Information Charlie in Minneapolis, but let's double check so I don't sound like a Tardo. And I call up with it, and it was information Lima. See, yeah, I was a target. Delta 545, contact me at the channel 126.7. Order counter 267, Alright, no one's talking. Minneapolis Center, Ahoy there, Delta 731, descending through 12,400 for 10,000 pilot's discretion and requesting 1 2 left. Delta 731, Minneapolis approach. I decided to ask you. Delta 1 2 left approach, Minneapolis, Altimeter 2 Niner, Niner Niner. And uh, advise us need deviations for weather. We'll advise, we'll expect 1 2 left, Delta 731. Yeah, I decided actually I'd like to, I like the scenery there, so let's taxi across more of the airport and actually do 1 2 left. So departure arrivals, ILS. So that's 249, 3 miles from, correction, 2 miles from Washington, you maintain uh, 4,000, and just 3,000. 3,000 until the stars, one little closer. Clear to ILS, runway 1-2 after the first. 3,000 to 1,000 for the ILS. I'm going to start slowing. Uh, I'll post the flight. And as we level out here, so now I'm going to turn the auto throttle back on, and I'm going to say we want like 250, solid. So get me to 250. 249 there. Turn it on there. I'll put it in flight level change so we bleed off the speed and then we get down this last little bit to 10,000. So one, two left. Delta 249, contact tower, one, two, six, one, two left. Then, uh, out of one, two, six, left, uh, left, uh, left, 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 So that's exactly what we were going to do before. So now I don't need to change anything in the FMC yeah. doing one, two left anyway. So that's, uh, that's good. I'll just go ahead and turn this crap on since we're about to go through. Delta 731, how's your, uh, radar looking up? There. Did he say Delta 73? I didn't tell him anything. I don't know what he's telling me. Roger. If that was aimed at me, indeed. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes if it can't find, see, it's looking for low, yeah, whatever. Sometimes it can't find the right model to show you a plane that's out there, so it'll screw up a little bit like that. Okay, so anyway, ILS ran one, two, left. Da, da, da. So we want that, and then back on flight of where we're looking for the... 
We have a car to your southwest 3625 with you at 2000 to 7000. Zoom back in on this guy, we'll zoom in on this one, and our transition will be... Southwest 3225 Minneapolis departure radar contact. Climb and maintain 17000. Reset transponder, south um, 3627. 17000, 3217 in the box. Almost 3625. Because I said that one because it bit me in the ass one ten seven one two one. Hold on one second here. It bit me in the ass when I said this the other day, and for some reason, it going into Portland, it wasn't actually like I never captured the localizer. Luckily, it broke out of the clouds. It just kind of landed the plane. It looked like I knew what I was doing. That was some cool lightning. So the thirty-two twenty-five. Thanks. Climb and maintain one seven thousand. We should direct the other. Because one of these nav radios has to be right. All righty. Archer, good evening. Delta five forty five again. Five thousand. This. Delta five forty five. Departure radar contact. Flight heading three zero zero. Maintain five thousand. Expect the ILS to come to you later. Three zero zero and five for five forty five. And we're just cruising along, waiting for further from this gentleman. Delta 731, are you still direct the field? Uh, Delta 731, affirmative, at least thought we were. Let's see, how far out is it? Oh, well, there's the field. Delta 731, Roger, 5,000 adding. Descent maintains 5,000. Okay, present heading down to 5000 Delta 731. Whoops. Let's go down to uh, 220. I'm going to turn off the auto throttle again because it's going to do a really shitty job with this. I'm just going to go idle. Southwest 3225, clear direct. Uh, are you going direct jet right now? Uh, Southwest 3225, yes, we are going direct to jet. Southwest 3225, thanks. Contact me at the center 133.4. 133 one three three point four. Almost thirty six twenty five.
I mean, I was on the same heading, so I figured they would have said something if I was, like, too far off from the airport. But anyway, I see the river down there. All right, so... Yeah, that's 545, just 17, 4,000. I'm just going to drop... 4,000 now, 545. And I'm overspeeding the plane, I know. I'm just trying to slow the fuck down, since apparently we can't do a 2,000 feet per minute descent like this without exceeding this bullshit. There's, uh, was that, is that St. Paul? No, we're too far out. I don't think it's St. Paul. There's the field. And you can see all the flat locations here, right? So if we zoom in, most planes will have something like this, 240 knots, 220, 210, and yada, 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 all the way down. So it's got to watch, I'm just going to kind of let a bunch of the speed bleed off. So now I want to let the aircraft get to like 220 knots, so I get to flaps 5, so that we could go ahead and drop them now. to be a little easier to stabilize on approach. There's the airport loading to our left. Oh, it just got dark in here. Well, the 545 turn right, heading uh, zero, three, okay, zero. One more notch of flaps. And this looks like okay, zero, three, zero for here. 545. Auto throttle back on at one eighty. We'll just maintain that. And one eighty will actually let us do all the other flap settings we need. I'll just do one eighty on the approach since no one's behind us. And maybe well, the five forty five turn right. I think zero nine or zero. It's just from one two right local. Turn it tight, then go all the way. Yeah, zero eight zero eight the one two right localizer down to five forty five. Zero nine or zero to intercept. Zero nine or zero five forty five. So we're just cruising along on our approach. And as you see, this was originally, this is what we were going to do, this to cause. So basically, we ended up on the same path that we would have been on on our star arrival. It's just we got a major shortcut. Another airport up there. My family's actually from this area, Richfield in the Minneapolis area. But like a 545, three miles from Waves up, maintain 4,000 well, total cells on the localizer, cleared ILS, runway 1, 2, right, so we can see. Oh, okay. Maintain 4,000 total staff was cleared off, uh, 1, 2, right, approach, Delta 545. Is that Crystal, I think? Uh, I forget what MIC is. I think it might be Crystal. Alright, so we're just descending. Delta 731 is going to maintain 4,000. Down to 4,000, Delta 731. Okay, so far. 1,000. Do one more notch of flaps. To help us slow down a bit. Stormy, stormy day. Oh, I wonder. We're probably yeah, going to be following that Good evening, Delta 451, uh, about uh, 50 nautical miles south of the Minneapolis airport. Well, look at you. Delta 731, turn left, heading 210. Maintain 170 knots. 170 knots, and uh, I'm sorry, what was the heading one more time? 210. Left 210, Delta 731. Delta 451, Minneapolis, approach, Roger, expect ILS, runway 1-2, right, approach. 
the left side is available upon request. If we can get left, that would be great. So the 450 only expect Alice, one two left. We'll call one two left, that was a uh, 450. So that's 545, maintain 160 knots or greater than 5 miles per hour, please. Okay, 160 or greater will be our best. So if we do the next notch of flaps, the gear horn is going to go off and be like, oh my god, you got to drop landing gear. So I'm holding off on that. So is this another, I think this is a Delta 319, it sounded like. 545 has the field. Yep. So the 545, Roger. I cleared you for the ILS spray. Descent. In just a moment here, probably when we line up. Delta seven thirty one, seven eighteen three thousand. Okay. Down to three thousand. Delta seven three one. Do a nice Delta seven thirty one, flighting one three zero. Fly heading 130, Delta 731. Delta 731, 3 miles from Washington, maintain 3000, so status on low plaza, cleared ILS, run 1 2 left approach. Cleared ILS, run 1 2 left approach, we'll maintain 3000, until established, Delta 731. Now it's painting some weather. Delta Look at that. Nothing else tower, even painted. Order tower paint. Okay, let me put it in localizer mode. Oh, it's actually captured. Well, look Delta at 731, speed gear, contact tower 126.7. Going to tower 126.7, Delta 731, speed hard discretions. Adios. Switch over to power. And I'll drop the speed down quite a bit. Full flap. Minneapolis Tower, ahoy there. Delta 731's on the ILS, 1 2 left. Delta 731, Minneapolis Tower, 105010, runway 1 2 left, clear to land. Go to line one two left, Delta seven three one. Alrighty. So let's see how the localizer flies this guy. I'm gonna go ahead, we're at the outer marker. I'm gonna disconnect the auto throttle. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the autopilot. wasn't apparently doing the best job of uh, tracking this ILS. I'm trying to look straight ahead. We get straight ahead. And a little bit down so I can see that. That's good. And we got flaps full. It's cool with the other plane on parallel approach to the right. Nice to see it all busy here. And I didn't tune in ground. I'll do that when we're on the ground. It doesn't really matter. One thousand. God, stop that. I should have just turned off the flying tips. My God. 
the five three five over in Apple Ten West on Alpha, can I take her out point nine error? Eight West on Alpha, ground point nine or five forty five thanks. Now we're back basically lined up, but I kind of turned it into a visual approach because those are more fun. Metamops. Let's give it some trim. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. Oh, I didn't expect that. I thought I'd let off enough uh, speed not to worry about that. Spoilers and all that shit. And I'll try to make this next high speed. Why did someone spawn over there? What the hell? Look at that guy with his nose down. What the fuck is that? Forgot to tell you guys, also... Hello, welcome to Apple, Texas, right? Lenable, can I figure out point nine -er. Well, exit right, we'll contact ground point nine -er, Delta 7 through 1, see ya. So we'll come to a stop here, but yeah, make sure you always are at a gate or parking spot at the very least when you go ahead and switch to... Uh, when you go ahead and load into V Pilot, because you don't want to pop up obviously on the runway, that's a big no no. 121.9. Minneapolis ground, ahoy there, Delta 731's clear, 1 2 left, uh, taxi to Fox Niner. Delta 731, ahoy me matey, Minneapolis ground, taxi to parking via Quebec Delta. Quebec Delta to parking, ahoy there matey, Delta 731. Okay, we'll put the flaps all the way up. A lot of other Delta planes here, there's someone in a 737-700. Type of stuff. Ground Southwest 343, IFR Grand Forks. Southwest 343, Minneapolis Ground, good evening. Cleared to Grand Forks Airport, Minneapolis 8 departure, radar vectors, brain and then it's filed. Climb the assist, maintain 7000, departure frequency 124.7, walk through to 170. I never joined Quebec because fuck that. So. Southwest 343, read that correct. Call and ready for push, expect runway 1 2 left for departure and information leave on the screen. 343, we'll get a little plan on 1 2 left. We we'll see where that right Delta A319 is. He doesn't have the flight beam uh, we'll scenery, probably. He has a like area. real scenery. Uh, Southwest 342, Roger. Delta 731, uh, left turn onto Charlie instead of Delta, amendment to taxi instructions, taxi to parking via Charlie, Charlie 5. Charlie, Charlie 5 to parking, Delta 731, we'll do it. So Southwest is having an issue sitting there. It's nice to see so many people in Minneapolis, one of my favorite airports, American. Also parked where they don't park. I guess most people don't go that deep into it, but I always try at least if I'm spawning somewhere to spawn where, uh, where that aircraft actually would park in real life if I know that. And I told them Fox 9. Not 100% sure where Fox 9 is, so we're going to take this gate right here, which 
to his pocket for me. I don't really care. And if he asks, I'll say we had a gate change. And stop. Did we hit the stairs? Nope. Control period. Shift P. Back that ass up. Cover all the evidence. All the evidence. Control period. Park and brake. Ah. Control J. Let's get that jet bridge up to this ship. Alright, so APU is running, so we can thereby shut off our engines. Yeah, and we can turn off the taxi light. Turn off the beacon lights. Go to the animations panel. Entry door, we'll turn the chocks on. And we might as well open the cargo door. Good times. And I'll try one more time because it didn't seem to connect. Control J. Nope. Jet bridge doesn't seem to want to connect. Anyway, guys, so the last thing is now that we're parked at the gate, you're welcome to hang out here as long as you want. But we'll turn this transponder off. And if it doesn't translate here, which it didn't, we hit that button. All right, so now here we are. Just chillaxing at Minneapolis with all these other people around us. And we can switch around. You right click traffic, right? Let's see. So there's uh, so there's this American with us in the background. So his jet bridge is working. For some reason, just mine isn't. And then there's that Southwest. Uh, Moving around, doing whatever they're doing. And here's another Southwest who just pushed off one of the Delta gates. There's a lot of Southwest around here, huh? There's this one. It's kind of, it's pretty cool seeing all these uh, live people here and. Uh, I thought I did see early over by the Humphrey Terminal, at least one Southwest parked over there. But anyway, guys, there you see. Obviously, I made some mistakes and didn't give it my 100% effort. But you see, it's not that intimidating like you could do it. You just got to know how to talk on the radio, basically, and just like the basics of navigation. But as you'll see, they take you off. The, sometimes they just have you follow the sitter star all the way. But a lot of times they'll just, you know, they want to do something. So they'll... They'll give you vectors and all that. Yeah, that's ground up for the six information. Leave the clearance to Grand Forks. All righty, guys. Anyway, thanks for flying along. Delta 396, Minneapolis ground. Good evening. Include two Grand Forks Airport, Minneapolis. Eight departure radar vectors. Four hundred thousand miles. Find the aesthetic of the train. Ten thousand. Departure from the two point two four point seven. Have a great day. And ta ta.